Hey there, my natural beauties. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about this cut crease eye makeup look right here. I really wanted to do another tutorial that was summer inspired, but I wanted it to incorporate a brown lip. This tutorial is really geared toward persons with smaller eyelids like myself. So if you want to see how I get this cut crease look, all you have to do is just keep on watching. So first things first, we're going to start off by priming our eyes and to do this, I'm taking my LA Girl Pro Concealer and Fawn. I'm going to apply this all over my lids just to act as a base for my eyeshadow colors. Since we're using a lot of neutral colors, then this will be the perfect primer. Next, I'm going to start working on my cut crease. Taking this soft brown pencil, I'm just going to go ahead and you want to start from the outer part and then work your way in. So I'm going to make some really nice short light strokes and just gradually build up that cut crease until I've carved it out exactly how I want. I love using a softer pencil because just in case you make a mistake, it's really easy to clean up and it's very easy to be buildable. So you can go ahead and use a softer pencil. And I'm taking this brown color right here. I'm going to use this to blend out that line that we just created. And to do this, I'm taking a sponge applicator this is also going to create a really nice transition color for the entire eye look to further blend this out I'm taking my earth glow pressed powder by Milani and a blending brush and I'm just using some windshield wiper motions as well as circular motions just to blend this into the crease Next, I'm going to take a pencil brush with a matte black shadow and I'm just going to run that over the line that I used to create my cut crease in the first place. I really wanted the cut crease to stand out but at the same time, we don't want it to be too obvious. So I'm going to go in and blend out that line as well with my sponge applicator just so that it's not too harsh. Taking this gold from this palette, I'm just going to pack that onto my lid and I really like using shimmers for um, cut crease looks because they stand out a whole lot. Right on top, I'm going to take this other gold right here and I'm just going to use that to intensify the color on my mobile lid. You should really be careful when doing this so you don't mess up but just in case you do, you can go ahead and clean up your cut crease line just in case you kind of went out of place with the eyeshadow that you applied. using a clean blending brush to blend all the colors in our crease together so that everything is nice and unified and it looks really soft in the crease. Now I'm going to move on to my brow bone highlight. I'm just going to use a regular pressed powder to just highlight my brow bone. Since the eyes are very bold, I wanted to keep that part very basic. Then I'm going to move on to my winged eyeliner. And since this is a cut crease look, I decided to go for a dramatic winged liner. So I'm going to wing that all the way out and just make it fairly thick so that when we apply our false lashes, it will still be there, you know? So once I fill that in, I'm going to move on to my lower lash line. And I'm taking the very same brown pencil that I used for my... My, uh, cut crease and I'm going to smoke out my lower lash line also with the dark brown from my BH Cosmetics Flawless Brow Trio. Now I'm going to move on to the regular holy grail which is mascara and false lashes. And as always, I want to ensure that they're blended in with my own, so I'm just going to apply some mascara right on top as soon as I'm done. To finish off the eyes, I'm going to take this copper color from my trio from LA Colors. This trio is called Sunshine, and I'm just using that copper to highlight my inner tear duct. Then moving on to the lips, I'm taking this Mika K Cosmetics Lip Liner in brown, and I'm going with a brown lip look as I said before, so I'm just going to line my lips, and then I'm going to move on to filling them in. And the first lipstick that I'm using is this from She Makeup. It's called Hot Chocolate. It's a really nice brown color. I'm just going to apply that all over my lips. And it's really important that while you apply color, especially if it isn't matte, you go ahead and you blend it out as you apply. So as you guys can see, I'm just applying, then blending, and so on and so forth. The second color is this really nice brown as well, but it's more on the satin side. And I'm just applying that to the center of my lips. This color is called Dessert, and it's by LA Colors. 
It's funny how your love takes me back in time on the porch neighborhood block. So here is the completed look guys. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so I know that you liked it. And of course, all the information that you need will be in the description bar below. I definitely see you guys in my next video. Until next time, stay naturally beautiful. Mwah. Bye. Oh,